So much uh, of my time in recent years has been spent engaging with serious actors, with serious reputations, not people like Flavia, people who have spent their life working on these issues and have made very success successful political careers, for instance. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we will be reacting to Douglas Murray, most savage verbal modeling ever. Guys, let's get straight into this. drink Vino Verde in Lisbon. I want to go there by night train, wearing a leopard patterned pyjama in a compartment full of strangers. I want to have oranges for breakfast and know exactly where they come from. And I want to know that the workers who picked those oranges got paid for it. And I want to know that their children are going to school whose teachers went to university regardless of how much money they have. Whoa. I only want to see guns when they're carried around by members of the army or tiny plastic versions of it filled with syrup. I want to remember Srebrenica and read in one of the hundreds of free news outlets that its generals were prosecuted. And I want to look at their faces while they're being walked off to prison. I want to get stuck in a traffic jam and miss an appointment because people are holding a bike manifestation. I don't ever want to smoke weed, but I want to know that in Amsterdam, I could. And I want to have windows that I can open. Europe learns the hard way, not once, but twice. Only fools and Douglas Murray would give up these lessons learned. Three, two, one. Um, is there anything, for starters, in Flavio's speech that you would agree with? There Surprise wasn't very much in it. Um, what I mainly got was an I want list, uh, followed by a set of claims and rather presumptuous insults. Uh, it was hard to find any meat there at all uh, on the bone. Uh, that might be because it's rather hard to find any work that Flavi has done other than a tiny campaign in a tiny country. Uh, by contrast, of course, it's obviously very much the case that she's read and absorbed everything I've written, which is why she's so happy to be so insulting when she meets me almost in person. Um, so, no, there wasn't very much to pick up on, other than the rather ill-spoken, ill-lettered and rude attempts to attack me. Um, and I'm sorry about that, because I think that it demonstrates her own personal failing as much as it does a failing of the cause that she would like to lead before she got tired and decided to get out. And that is to say this. It's a shame that people like her refuse to engage on any of the important terrain. So much uh, of my time in recent years has been spent engaging with serious actors, with serious reputations, not people like Flavia, people who have spent their life working on these issues and have made very success successful political careers, for Whoa. instance, from doing so. Uh, they, uh, I've always noticed, wish to engage on the serious terrain. When I speak with uh, um, leading politicians across Europe, who I happen to disagree with, uh, I find that the most important and impressive ones do not get up and read bucket lists of what they'd like to do and then insult people. I find that they try to, for instance, understand what other people are thinking and particularly try to understand what the public might be thinking. For instance, they might try to work out whether the public is sometimes trying to tell them something and whether the public who they disagree with might not in fact be on to something on occasion. After all, it's very easy to draw rather comfortable lines around yourself and your own ideology such as it is and declare that everyone on the other side of it is, for instance, an evil populist or, or a, what was it, a fool, that's right, a fool. What an amazing way to speak about somebody else to their virtual face. And what an extraordinary way to speak about majority population votes in our continent. 
I see very little likelihood of anyone like Flavia, for as long as she remains in the public eye, being able to achieve anything much because she keeps dismissing the public, and the public tend not to like that. Oh, guys, I honestly believe that if you have sense, don't go after people like Douglas Murray, Jordan Peterson, Candice Owen, Ben Shapiro, Charlie Skirk, like. These guys will chew you up. Like for me, I honestly believe that a lot of people have sense. Especially people who do who do especially people who do public speaking, like Jordan Peterson, Ben Shapiro, Douglas Murray. Like these are guys that have spent their life researching. And like I honestly believe that people have sense. To be honest, like people have sense. I won't say they don't. But like we have people that are at the top. So you have to respect yourself when you are speaking with people. And to be honest, I honestly believe that this life you have to be able to communicate your ideas without being good. And it's just something that will help you in the long run. Like I honestly believe that she can communicate her idea without she insulting. I feel she was trying to be funny and get mm, the left attention, but like it's it won't work based on the fact that like your ideas are good to you and some people might actually agree with it but you actually passing it that way it does not make sense you actually ending everything and just more like you build something up and try ending this things scatter it it does not make sense but for you to insult someone why giving the speech i honestly believe it does not make sense but guys tell me to think about this so if you like share subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time guys best